Hello and welcome to YouTube. We are not live, but we are recording a video for you guys, for YouTube. Um, I didn't plan to stream today, but I saw the 320 and couldn't... Yeah, I just need to play it. And here we are. It's two out of five, two away from uh, the money and with one bounty so far. So we're gonna... I just record here. I'm just gonna talk through my my decisions and we'll see hopefully we can win this tournament i'm gonna get the payouts up in a second um 320 bounty builder it's monday morning so basically no one is grinding uh so the feel is really small and tough we have left jero md i don't know him osling and obviously norway and johnson whatever um third place is 500 second is a thousand and first is a thousand plus bounties and there's right away a big uh pot happening so let's see let's see i always want to and we're gonna do this more often as well actually i could put them uh actually i could put my headphones away but it doesn't matter uh, I want to do this more often, just recording stuff for, for YouTube as well. I think it's fun. We can play spinning goes. We can play cash games. We can play this. We can play that. We can play just everything. Uh, um, yeah, let's go. And we have a nice uh, chip distribution here. Since those guys are playing, as long as, obviously, I like this guy. I met him in Barcelona. This guy is amazing. But I don't mind if Johnson wins it and now we are clearly second. And those guys are... Um, quite short. We can open raise the queen and suit it. Good hand. We're just playing five handed. Uh, obviously, Johnson could go really, really aggressive against us, but we're gonna test out the waters how aggressive he is. I think he could <laughs> he could free bet any two here. I don't know. Because we are kind of in in a hell situation there, but uh, basically no one is really um, aggressive enough to do that. Okay, we're gonna fold the check this. As I said before, we are. We're gonna stay super tight. Uh, Jero um, spun it up a little bit, but everyone is super close. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun battle for sure. Bubble egg, the battle. Ah, uh, yes, baby. Okay, okay. Queen free off, uh, blind versus blind. We'll see. We can use it as a bluff, for example. 27 big blinds. The, I think I want to raise fold here. I think it's a good one to do this with. Nice baby. Nice baby. Ace four. I think if he open, <laughs> I, I think we can. I don't know. The, the, the only question is how crazy is he for betting us i think in general he is not too crazy but i could be wrong here um i think if we want a free but bluffy i don't even know if i want to have a free but bluffy but if we want to have one i think we're gonna use those kind of hands i think even suited ace x we're gonna call an open raise wide into those guys we're gonna just race for the bunch here not a big deal. Both players have a big bounty. Probably we can even open shove a bunch, couple of pairs or whatever. I think deuces through fives we're gonna open shove and race call sixes. I'm gonna check it back. Or do we just range bet here? I think something like king queen five we might range bet. So we have now ace king advantage. Not flush advantage probably, but not that much, so might be a cool one to just bet big here. Just pot. I don't think small betting does a lot here for us, so I'm just gonna bet pot. It might be I might I could even check back some flush draws on the flop. I don't know if I do it though. No. But I think I if I wanna pressure five or ten X or oh, sorry guys, uh one X club hand, I think I have to go pot here. Uh, we get it through, which is amazing. He could just have a worse hand as well, so it doesn't matter too much. Well, it's always important to win uh, kind of smaller pots against shorties because you want to you want to keep those stacks down. It, I know it doesn't work always, but I 
doesn't have to work always. That's the most important thing to know. But it's already, it's already 10 past 4. Ten past four. Um, that means in 1 hour and 50 minutes I'm going to go and play some billiard with my friend. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, Osling is definitely capable of bluffing here. Yeah. Oh, aces versus kings. Yeah, I would never shove aces there. I probably, I think there is kind of a thing where you can shove aces here because uh, his bluffs are just asex heavy, so you're never blocking his bluffs. Uh, you're blocking his bluffs heavily. <laughs> I mean, so you got uh, so this guy is blocking his bluffs heavily. So he has mostly kings, queens, jacks, or whatever he's free big calling with here. Um, in case there is a king queen free flop where he might you not gonna get max value from jacks anymore. But in general, I think so shallow. I'm tend to always free bet there. Uh, call there with the aces. Not gonna shove it. I don't even know. Whatever. I don't know if I should still defend here. Because we are now in the stone bubble and we guys know bubble is 500 bucks. So for a bounty builder, it's quite big. Um, this tournament just barely uh, caught the guarantee. Uh, the means. Main cash is quite big. Paychamp is as well quite big. Now we're even with Jero again. And Esk is the shortest guy here. Just if it goes blind versus blind, we're just gonna raise fold here. Pretty, pretty good hand to do this with. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to go for an half X. Free X is fine. Probably I could even go a bit smaller. He still has a. Uh, a couple of calls, a couple of shoves, a couple of folds, and this is basically... Uh, this is basically a flop where we're gonna fire through. Question is how big we want to bet. I think we want to make this free streets. Cool thing is with diamonds, we could have backed the, we have backed the diamonds, that would be good. And we get it through, nice. But loses, always loses. Just calling, try to set mine and win a nice spot. If we don't, we're going to fold. Yeah, okay, I don't think I can fold to a big blind bet, but... I mostly fold on turns then. Big blind seems like it's just too good of a price. Okay, nines. I think if we see an open race here, we just flat. I don't know what we do if he open races. We just flat here, try to get a shove from him. And then it's getting interesting because if he reshoves, what is going on? Uh, pretty good flop for us. It's getting interesting, chat. Uh, I don't think I want to raise here. Obviously, we're never folding. So we're gonna press the call button. Oh yo yo! And now we have. Now obviously we 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 are sitting on the stone nuts. But you can see the the yeah. Uh, we can see the draw heavy board. I think we gotta raise here. Uh, I really do not. <sighs> we're in a stone bubble. <sighs> I don't know what my raising range consists there. I don't know, mate. I don't know if I want to raise it all. Oh shit, I have no time bank. That sucks, mate. I have no time bank. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's a big problem. Probably should just call and just call any river because it doesn't matter anyway. Hmm. I don't want to go to point one or whatever i don't want to go free x probably could go free uh do we want a four bit bluff i don't have to go too big here right something like that i think four bit bluffing might be a good idea might be just an idiotic idea because we're gonna maintain our stack and we don't want to do anything like that. Because it doesn't matter. We are just winning 4k. And it's not that important. Spinning. It is not. It, that's not true. Because now we are kind of um, even with the chip leader. So that's the, the advantage of the 4 bet. But if we're going to lose here. But he's free betting so wide with an ace block. It seems good. It just seems good. But could be wrong. 
And you know it, guys. I don't want to get pushed around. I really do not want to get pushed around. That's not my... That's not... That's not how I, I want to play this game. Yeah, it would be crazy. See, we're getting a lot of respect here. We are getting a lot of respect. This is definitely a hand I want to shove blind with blind. Seems like it performs way... Way too good. Would be cool if we're gonna win this tournament right away. Obviously, I will be. I, I laid rage this tournament. I laid rage this tournament heavily. So my chip graph starts something somewhere around. Oh, you can't see with the yeah. But what are you doing? I'm gonna show you this table over here. Uh, my chip graph starts one hour fifteen minutes. <laughs> into this tournament and we spawn it right away up and it's uh kind of here oh they colliding oh shit eight nine check nut oh we made the money mate ay 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 506 and 98 dollars guaranteed let's go uh do we want to make it gold now do we gonna keep it like that we have no time bank do we want to make it golden yeah why not golden is kind of my final table aha page up is big since he's polarized, I think we're just gonna call the nine, so he's really bluff heavy. And I don't think I wanna shove you. I never getting the only hand he calls us we are flipping with is his ace king. Besides that, we're fucked. Um that could be quite an important big part. Do I wanna raise knights? Yeah, that's a, that's the first question. I don't think so. Ah, oh, we get it in against Poison A6 suited, A7 suited, 8, that's it. Do I want to bet if he checks? Probably. Do I just want to call here now? Most likely. I don't think I want to shove. But we're going to call and decide on the turn. That's a bad card. That is a really really bad card i still might call another one huh what what is he checking there uh kings through tens yes aces probably ace four is five probably hmm. still a shit card mate i don't know what i want to do in that one block against some king queens I still lose against some Asex. Obviously, he has some checks. But I think mainly he wants to get the money in if he hits the ace. Unless he has a weak ace, something like ace 4, ace 5. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, often I say, I don't know. <laughs> that happens quite often, chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, should be a good hand to free bet chance on. Um. Could be a good hand to bluff here as well. If he 3x opens, we could make it 8 and a half. Something like that. Probably it's too good to raise everything here. I think it's fine doing both. It's definitely fine. The question is what, what's better. That should be it. Yeah, he has a lot of this middling stuff as well. But I have more. Ja la 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 la. Half or big? Big 10x. I just limit my 9x combinations if I go big. But I still have straights, I still have 10x, I still have queen x. I'm just not wrapping too many or check 9 probably. That's it. Ha ha ha. What are we doing now, Jeff? Hot? Hot or give up? Hmm. Okay, let's try. Because for the video chat, okay? We're gonna do it for the video. I don't think we're getting a lot of loads of faults here. Shit. Uh, problem. 
Was he thinking with that? Was he thinking with that or was he just... I don't know. Not sure if. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. So now we're all even. He probably hates that to see that I lose there. hundred <laughs> percent. He probably hates me now for bluffing there. I don't even know if that's a good bluff or not. Probably not. Probably it is. Probably it's fine. Always depends. Get it through here. Sure. By the way, it's today's the day. Um, one day after my marathon. And my legs are not even feeling that, that bad. My legs are feeling fine. Not terrible. It is not terrible. That seems like a board I want a bit big. I don't know if it is. Definitely range. Not even range bad. I think it uh, it might be a board I want to bet big on. I'm not sure, Chad. It could be a board. We're basically losing against... The only hand we're losing against is probably 7s and Queen 10. I don't know if I want a free bet here. Probably not. Probably not. Probably I want a free bet. I like free betting. By the way, chat, if you haven't realized yet, I like free betting wide. I like free betting wide. I like calling wide. I like hero calling. I like bluffing. I like everything. I don't like folding. Oh, might be a spot I could raise. I don't think it's a good spot to raise. So, obvious thing is to call. Back to diamonds. Middle pair. Sometimes I had. Sometimes not I had. Now it's getting interesting. Now we really need to figure out what he's doing. If he calls, we get a good price. But are we really that often ahead? He still could raise up like 5 4 with back doors. I don't know. 9 7 with back doors. We're getting incredible price, but I think we're gonna leave this. It could be pretty dead as well. Especially on a card like that. Back to diamonds, it looks tasty to call, but multi-way things are getting really... Multi-way things are getting really quickly out of control. And it's not... It's never a bad idea if you... If you're multi-way, it's never a bad idea to be a little more on the tighter side, especially if you see a raise in a call. Um... That, that, that means mostly you don't want to continue with incredible wide range even though you got you get a quite good price. Is a clicking war or what is that? But it helps. This is the only thing that helps us with a $500 pay jump. That's 500 bucks. We're in for one bullet and... Yeah, we late riches. How long are we playing this tournament? I don't know, an hour, if even. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, here we go. Oh man, imagine you're gonna size if you're gonna miss the sizing by. <laughs> he he, he uh, bets 20 chips more than his staff. I'm gonna do this quite often as well, and then uh, sometimes I'm gonna misclick. Sometimes I'm misclicking and fucking it up. Yeah, okay. Uh, this guy has all the 3x. This guy has 6s. This guy hasn't got 10s. Um, this guy has... Yeah, this guy has check uh, check free. This guy has 6 free. This guy has 4 free. This guy has 4 5 clubs. This guy has 10x clubs. So his value range is just a lot. This guy has all the overpairs. Good 10x. Obviously good flushes as well. Oh, 10s obviously is what we would have called anyway with 10s, so that's not the, the big deal here. Now we gotta be a bit more careful. I just got one bounty. That's that's the problem with late regging bounty pillars. I think I late regged uh, this one with 7, 8 players left, something like that. Yeah, and then we have 2 late regges and then... Yeah, the late reg close, so... Not the, it's, I do not recommend late regging uh, PKOs at all. 
because mostly so you're gonna win in PKs you're gonna win uh, money through bounties and if you late reg and obviously um, through the normal price pool but if you late reg uh, a couple of people are already busted that means you're gonna miss out on that uh, that money is already gone so you don't want to late reg too much uh, PKs uh, anyway, uh, we did it because it looked like it might be close on overlaying. It didn't by 100 bucks. Obviously, we're ambassadors, so we're gonna make sure Pokus does. Doing fine with the tournaments. Look, look at us, chat. Look at us. Best ambassador ever. And yeah, I like playing this one. I like battling. I like. I think I have a huge. Since I'm playing. Uh, since I've played an incredible incredible amount of heads-up tournaments, free max tournaments. I feel like uh, I'm doing quite well against the normal uh, MTT regulars when it comes to free-handed, when it comes to heads-up. I think I, I just I just performed there. I'm definitely, my game is definitely against regulars, against um, people who know how the game works. I, I, I know that my game is definitely the best there, 100%. And that's where the money is. Where the money gets the biggest. Uh, we, see, we see another raising whatever thing. And we just need to hope that Jero is not winning. Because that would be terrible for us. If he loses now. If he busts, I'm fine. I get a $500 pay jump. If he stays short, obviously we gotta be careful against him. But we have an opportunity for a bounty. We don't want to double him up um, either, but oh, he's all in again. And a kind of a quick call, 10-4, ace, yeah, okay. That's the cool, the, mo the biggest cooler you can ever hope for. So we guaranteed now a thousand bucks and 75, that means, let's say 1-1. One, one. That means we have a profit of 780, something like that, 780. And now we're just going to play uh, for the bounties. It means 417. Not bad. I think we could win this tournament for 2k. Uh, but here's a two more than a two to one chip lead. Queens, turn it around. First hand. Nothing. I don't think I have to tell you anything about that hand. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're blocking Queen Jack. Not a great flop. I don't know what sizing I want to go, if I want to go 30% right away, or if I... He's definitely calling 10x, 9x, if I go 10%, he's calling King Jacks, he's calling whatever, Jack 8s, might even... I don't think he should raise Jack 8s or 8-7 suited, stuff like that, he wants to heal pre-flop. This is obviously a big problem, because we are blocking his main bluffs, Queen Jack, probably. I think I'm gonna call one and decide on... Oh, sorry, guys. I call one and decide on the turn. I don't think I'm allowed to fold here. <laughs> That's probably the worst turn out. <laughs> it's probably the worst turn in the deck as well. Because now, if he bluffs with 7-8 there... Um, yeah, the only hand we still beat is check-8. If he bluffs there. I don't know why he should raise king-10, 10, 10, king-9 or whatever on the flop. So, I think this hand is done and dusted. Even if he goes 10% now, 2k, he might shove straight away. Uh huh. <laughs> and not a real bad card on the river because he might check some uh, backdoor flush, flush draws back. So, in case he has 10 8. 10-9, check 9, clubs. <laughs> he checks that on the turn. Gets there once more. Um, yeah, all in all, I don't see me winning here. <laughs> Ever. Not even pot left. I have queens without a club, so... And so... The show goes on. Raising or calling. I think both is fine. Probably if you want to raise... Okay, bad turn. Could rep an ace. He is kind of a unique. He still he, he had one heater somewhere, and, but I think he not playing uh, bad at all. But he has kind of a unique play style. Limps a lot. 
Um, yeah, he's just doing some some stuff other regulars are not doing. Uh, he's successful with that. So whatever. Uh, we're gonna check again. Uh, might have enough showdown. We're not getting anything better to fall. Probably some 8th breeze we could get to fall, but that's about it. Yeah, never getting this. I don't think. Ah, unless I got double pot, and I don't think I have to do that with my hand. Oops, sorry guys. And check folding. This heads up is wide open, by the way, guys. If I'm getting chips once, we're gonna come back. But this heads up could take. <laughs> this heads up could take. A long a while. Um, yeah, whatever. We're gonna give up here. Showdown again. Just pray that he's not betting on the river. And if he bets big, calling. I think he starts bluffing on turns mostly or blobs, so I think we're gonna beat a ton here. They're gonna try to open race a lot. Obviously, we uh, still, we could limp. We can limp, uh, limp a lot here too. Oh, that's a good hand. Uh, race call. That's it's four eggs enough, or do we want to go bigger? I'm gonna go bigger. Four and a half eggs. Fine. Um, I think you have to, especially if you're out of position, but if even if you're in position, it's not good just to go 3x against the limper. I think you wanna, I think you just wanna make it bigger. That's a really bad flop. I'm gonna check and decide. We probably could even check shove here. Uh, we could just straight up shove ourselves, that might be an option as well. That's another bad turn. Ah, that card is not too bad. Back to straight is not active anymore. Ah, back to flush is not active anymore. Yeah, I think you can set sizing and feel like... I feel like sometimes even a jack is good. Sometimes even an ace is good. The question is if you can realize it because he bluffs a lot. But obviously an eight is good. Yeah, problem. Oh, nice. He's not bluffing. I think you have to bluff. Ah, yeah. uh, he had queen jack suited. Yeah. I think you can just wrap a ton of shit there, so... It feels like you just want to bluff there. Uh, monotone board, small... Uh, we're not afraid, we always can... Against flushes, we can always, always boat up. So if another heart comes, we always can boat up. Uh, if not a heart comes, perfect. Uh, we're gonna go... Hot? And never fold? Now we're just gonna go for 920. Pot plus the 600. And hope for no hearts and never fault here. Just one second of a time bank. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah, pretty good hand here. Obviously, sometimes he has a flush. Obviously, sometimes he has a straight. But now folding. Dang. We see a bluff from the check six with a heart. I don't know. Seems quite spooky good. Doesn't it, chat? How many percent did he... Thirty-one. That's a lot against the set. That's a lot against the set. I don't know. It seems like a real good bluff, doesn't it? Cool. I like it, and we held those of the brickiest of brick cards. The brickiest of brick cards. Nice. Uh, value betting or check calling? I don't know. I think value betting, I know. She still calls up with king highs. 
Ah, but that's about it. What else does he have? Some sh even six X he's betting on the flop. I don't know. Probably it's better to bluff catch it. So let him blast. Let him blast it all. Man, doesn't my look at me, chat. Doesn't I'm not listening to shit here though. The headphones are completely completely irrelevant. I could actually listen to some music. I'm gonna do this because I'm I I wasn't sure if my Yeah. Uh, if my if I record the audio as well here, so <laughs> I, I thought, okay, I can't play any music, but fuck it, I just <laughs> I just mute my audio and fine. <laughs> oh man, I'm an idiot. Obviously, we're gonna take this one back and easy call call here mostly. Bum, bum, bum. I'm just listening to Chista. What I'm here for? Are you really bluffing on a nice? I doubt it, mate. If I have 6 M with a club, would be cool to call. Ah, uh, this card is in favor of us, so... Still have showdown, I don't think we want to turn this into a bluff. Here's Queen 10s, Queen Jacks, King Jacks. Uh, 10x, 5x, whatever. King it. obviously some value as well. Seems good, seems good. Bam. By the way, Chad, don't take anything granted, what I say. Way better with music now. Way, way, way better with music now. I'm so used to grind with music, it's crazy. If I'm fully in the zone, sometimes I'm not even real... I think I have to call it one. If I'm fully in the zone, I sometimes not even realize that I'm listening to music and sometimes I'm really getting into a groove... into a groove mood with music and grinding 10, 15, whatever tables. Wouldn't that be a cool race? Do I fold out? Do I fold out King Jack? Holy. I think we want to raise here. Probably there are better cards to raise. What do you think about that? Yes! <laughs> yes! Come on, let's win this chat. Let's win this for 2k. And have a 1.7k. Two hour work day. Isn't that a, a work day? I'm just having fun playing games. <laughs> I'm having fun. Boom, boom. No, not sure if I want to. Probably. Showdown. Easily. 9x. We're losing to 9x. That's it. I think he has something like Queen 7. If he leads, I'm calling. I guess. Winning, as I said, boys. Oh, we're gonna make it 5 blinds now. Nice. So we're even now. Isn't that beautiful? We're in the lead now. Look at that. <laughs> dip, 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 boom. We're gonna go 5x again. If it's not, if in free bets here, uh, we could call if it's not going too big. Too bad. from the button, obviously. Almost everything open raising. Doop doo doo. We're gonna check this back. Ace is good. I guess we kind of want to semi bluff here. Uh, I doubt that I'm gonna get raised often. Yeah, from some combo draws. Um, I don't even know if I want to bet here. But it kind of feels natural to bet there. It doesn't matter what what a, what a hand I have. It feels wrong with that hand, but range wise, I think I gotta bet here. Oh man, we gotta value bet this. Yeah. That's how we're gonna value bet thinly. For sure. Um, I don't think we have a call if he raises. 
Just have one second of time back. I uh, still call us with. I, I think uh, even. Uh, even Ace Deuce with the Ace of Cups would be a better call if your Ace is then 3 6 off here. We're not blocking shit. Blockers aren't real. I know, chats. I know, chats. I know, chat. Blockers aren't real. Check it. Yeah, I think that hand probably mainly calls. Chip leads. Does anyone doubt that I'm going to win this tournament? Um, seems like we could call this. Let's go. Oh, mate. With a back to diamond, it would be so easy. Now, if he bets big, I can't call. Or big. If I, if, I think if he goes bigger than 5k, I can't call. Levantade. Easy. We're going to realize our equity. Let's go. A oh, green five would have been the best. Fucking green nine. Lemon Shadow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's try again. I don't think I want to turn this one into a bluff. I'm not going to get anything to fall to. I know I have lo not low here, chat, but... I don't think it's a great spot to bluff. And if I wanna, I need to start earlier than the river. I need to probably escalate on turns and escalate on rivers even more. Lemon Shadow! Wrapping all sorts here. Mostly 7x, probably some 3x. I don't know if I do this with a check. Could do it, would be probably not too bad, but. Can I just go again, something like that, and fold our king highs, queen highs? Probably that's it. Obviously, I'm not on earth I'm gonna fold out any pairs, but I could fold out some king highs and queen highs. And here's a ton of ace x so. Le Manchade. What? Call mate. You're really gonna call there? Okay. A bit small on the turn, which is already weird. Right. You're not gonna fold out Queen 10 Diamonds. And get another barrel in. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll take it. I guess I say wrecked and move on. Oh, a good hand to call that with. The rest 5x, 3x. Alright, that's a too good a hand to fold. Lemon Shadow. Amazing flop. I don't think I have to raise. You gotta fold if you shove's then. So. I'm calling it. I don't see me check folding now either. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. If he's not overbetting, I'm calling. I think I can let it go on overbets. Do do do. Eight point five, eight point five. We're gonna let go. And da 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 da. You know what would be great? Hold it. I'm gonna go nine. Should be fine. Nine should be fine. Never go anywhere. Just broke. I don't think he... I don't think it's a bad flop here. 
with a heart as well. That's a bad turn though. That feels like a real bad turn. That really feels like a bad turn. Let's see how big it goes. Um, I think that's not a bad river. I feel like we have, we might have enough showdown. Um, I do not know. Obviously, I have some flushes, and obviously, I want to 2x pot champ this, but probably have like ace five with a heart. It's a bit better. I think with the ace king, I have some showdown here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna use that as a bluff. Ace nine off. Yeah, kind of weird that it doesn't bet turn. Or river. I think that's more like a bluff than our hand. I think our hand still. We block flushes. I don't think we have to jam. I think with way many worse a uh, ASX, we we gotta gotta have some bluffs here as well, right? So let's use the check this. Yeah, really lucky that we won the the ace king. It helps obviously a lot, and we're back in the chip loot. Da 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 da. Anyway, um, heads up, incredible swingy, so, um, yeah, we're just gonna take it. If we go, if we're down, if we're back down to 10k, we're gonna grind it back up. If we lose, it happens. If we win, yeah, let's go. Check it out. I think not enough showdown. Still has some overcast, like, check 10, queen 10, or whatever. And he has worse two sex. Obviously, there's a lot of value here, too. Okay, fine. I don't think I want to free bet that. It's just gonna call. If he limps, I have no clue. Probably gonna check it back. Okay, we're just gonna call him. Seven is good. Flop is good. Gonna call. Should I turn on the music that you guys know are uh, not on the not on the sound but the, the text on the top right so that you guys can see what I'm listening? What? Yeah, we're gonna call here. Obviously, there's a couple of king eggs, but um, yeah, bluffs as well. So. What the fuck? How the hell is he not betting this on the turn? And how the hell is he betting that big on the river on a king? Stun. I would have done it exactly the other way around. I would have done it exactly the other way around. I would have bet big on on the turn and check back the river. Might not be wrong though what he's doing. But all my secrets. And now you can see it. All those cards. Probably could call it even with Queen Hyder because I've showdown. So he's back in the chip lead. How big? Oh, five. It's getting close here, I guess. Uh, I don't need to call every time the king ate, but I definitely feel like I don't have to fold every time the king ate. Get all my secrets. Do we want to raise here? No, I'm just fine with calling. And obviously, check call again. And unless he goes small, I think I... I don't even know if I want to raise, even though if he goes small. Yeah. We're going to call the overbet. Um, this time I think it's easier. Uh, with the top pair here, I don't think we can go anywhere uh, against the overbet. And we're gonna decide on the river what to do. I 
I think I could lead 10% here. Uh, if we get shoved on... Um, if we get shoved on, we, we'll see. I don't think I want to turn this into a bluff, though. All my secrets... I expect quite some shoves, but calls as well never folds though, I guess. The secrets to... Wow! What is that, mate? Okay. 10-9? Makes sense. 10-9 uh, makes sense down on the river to fold. Or to bluff. Um, if he has something like 8-4, 4-5, 4-6. Even ace-5, ace-6, I don't think you're going to fold there ever. Uh, we're gonna call the check line suited here. Yeah, come on. Come on, mate. They're gonna continue. Um, against that sizing. I think we're gonna call most of our range. And this is definitely... If we're gonna call most of our range, this is definitely not in the fold section. Yeah. Getting tough. Pretty dead on the flop, obviously, against the ace-fives, ace-fours. Um, checking it back, I don't think I want to bet here. I don't getting. I don't think I'm going to get kings to fold. I don't think I get queens to fold. Not even starting about ace-x. Um, we could get some value from tens and lower on the river. Yeah, okay. Mate, that's not a good river. Unless he checks tens and we win. I feel like tens definitely have... Definitely he's not. Probably tens and nines. We're gonna pick for him. Tens and nines are showdown and uh, sixes, sevens. Probably even eights. You're gonna bluff, but are you bluffing this size? I don't think I can fault here. Just price wise, it doesn't matter that we're beat most of the time. It's just if he has uh, once in a while a bluff, um, we have to just call here. What happened? Let me let me check this one again. Oh, we have jacks, by the way. What happened? So Okay, we're gonna when we have the time. Okay, he folds now. So he free bets that. He C bets. I'm ready by the way, if he wants to play. He checks turn. Yeah, with a pair it kind of makes sense, right? Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna always be friendly on the table, Scapa. Oh, I quickly need to figure out what was his free betting size before with the 10-5. Uh, 6.5. Uh, six, okay. Just gonna keep small things. Always keep small things in, in mind. You never know if he has some free bet sizing tells or not. Don't worry about a thing. Good for us, terrible for our hands. It's gonna go small, I can call raises. Yeah, we're just gonna call the race. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Good thing is we have a six in our hands. Bad thing, he has better 5x with better kicker. So it's kind of good and bad at the same time, but we're gonna call again and then we don't decide. We're gonna decide on the river. Do it, do the night, don't worry, do the thing, don't worry about things. Um, bad river, I guess. Yeah, the problem is, we gotta, we gotta, we need to see some airballers like Fritos, Soda, six three, blocking that shit. 8x, 8, 7, 8, 6. Obviously got there. 
I don't think that's a great hand to call, I guess. We have no time backs. Worse. He's not doing this with a 6. He should do this with a 4, obviously. He has to fold. I don't know. I don't know. We have a huge chip disadvantage. Happens. We move on. Uh, I think against that sizing, even though uh, it just sucks. I guess we're gonna call. If it's a bit bigger, I'm folding, but. Check again. <laughs> oh! I don't know. I don't know. King and the dude. I'll check this one back. Now we can check Grace get it in. Do we want to raise here? Probably not. Probably yes. We're just gonna mix here. Oh, here's so many 9x. I'm gonna let this one go. Man, sad, sad, sad. Ah, that's such a great feeling. But it's not over yet. So. Still gonna fight. Still gonna. Gonna stab. Happy with the fold. We'll get the fold. One double up and we're, we're anyway still in the game, so. Mm, I don't mind having some. A6 is a check back. Obviously, shuffling is fine too. We bet a big plan. We call. If he checks, we check. Now we check, let him bluff. I don't think I want to raise there. Just call, keep his bluffs in, and call the river. Perfect river. We're winning. Too bad it's not bluffing. He had some showdown value. I hit a deuce. Any bets, uh, any callers here? That seems like. And if he checks and he breaks out, we're gonna go half pot on the river. Rapper seven or four. If he bets, honestly, we're gonna fold. Bimba da dee da. I'll just shove this. I'll let him call. Huh. Uh, it's a min race. It's a min race. We're gonna defend. Still are limping a lot, even though you just invest half of a big fine. If we get shuffled and we fold, we want to have some traps. It's fine. Now we're really short. Now we really need to double up. Okay, um, yeah, under 10, which is no raising. I have no raising range here. I'm just gonna shove the baddie folds. I think a little bit stronger. We could check back another shove here for 10, 11. One double up, guys. Come on. One double up. We're gonna turn this around. And we are in again. Pretty good, I think. We're just gonna shove here. 
He folds again. Uh, this is just straight up a shove. I don't want to limp call. I don't want to limp fold. So I don't want to raise call either. Dim -da -da, dim -da -da -da. If we double up now, we're, we're right back at 26. I got a limp shove, limp call. Not too bad to have a suited A6 here. Not gonna fault this anyway, so. Ah. Come on. Hmm. I'm not gonna turn this into a bluff. Not folding a6, not folding, most likely not folding king x, so. Doop doo, doop doo. Yeah, I don't think he's folding that. He can stab here. He calls with 6x, 3x, uh, wave overs, back to straight draws, back to flush draws. Uh, I don't see him raising often. Would be kind of terrible for us. Doop doop do doop doop do doop doop do nice one As I said one double up we are back over twenty I don't know that's the only question can I fold some minerals here? I do not know Check high is good Ah uh, Queen High with a check yeah. I should have I, I should have went to the toilet actually on break it's late i going to check all here. He wants to bluff on that one a lot. Now the flush the board. Let's go. If he goes pause, we call and check. Fuck. I don't think. He obviously he has some ASEX, but I still check calling him the river. Uh, no matter what. That's so weird. Yeah, you obviously got a bad turn. You got a bad one point here. I don't think you ever want to check there. And we check. And we check. Check on the check. I don't think we want to laugh on break this. Nexus, easiest shove in my life. Once again. You can limp a lot here. I think it's a bit too weak to call. If you check some my bluff on some turns. Yeah, we're gonna give it a one try. If it's nice if he calls. I don't think I don't think I wanna keep going on a I still have a check in a five. But it's not always good, but sometimes. Oh, again, 10 6 suited, probably calling to a race here. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go pot here. 3 8 8. Yeah. Bluffing a lot of rivers. Now we just need to pray that he doesn't shove. Do we? I don't know. I have so many bluffs here. It's a bit of a problem to bluff here, probably. I don't know, shit. I don't know. Ah, I'm gonna... Pussy out. Yeah, I don't think he's folding an 8 there with double flush or missed. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna get him to fold there a couple of pairs. A lot of outs. Can I double? Can I just shove turn? Probably. Could have bet turn here. Okay. So, a couple of double ups, chat. We go. We're gonna need him. Nice. First double up. Let's go. Mm 
I can't send me chop? No. Okay. Yeah, GG. Uh, still a nice score. 1100. So, YouTube. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, made a little profit. Hopefully, I don't know. Heads up didn't went our way. Happens. Um, I'm gonna go play some billiard now. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter for you. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, write in the comments uh, what do you like the most uh, about the new one. It, I just recorded it for YouTube. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys are, uh, in the next video. And peace out, people.